Hey everybody, it's Deja from Crochet Ever After, and today I want to talk about why you would choose knitting over crocheting, or crocheting over knitting, or if you're trying to decide what you want to learn, if you should pick one or the other, or the benefits of knowing one versus the other. I'm going to kind of break it down on the benefits of each, why I think you should learn both, and then also what you can do or what what each one is better at and these are just my opinions this is stuff that i've learned as i work through and try different things and it's totally my opinion you can disagree whatever you want this is just to help people that have never done either to kind of decide what they want to learn maybe what they want to learn first if they want to learn both or even just if they only need one because they only want to make like maybe one type of project so i'm going to talk about both and let you go from there okay so our first consideration is yarn there are two considerations for yarn one is cost and the other is the thickness that you like to work with so first there's cost Okay, so the cost refers to how much yarn you're going to use depending on if you're knitting or crocheting. So when you're making something in knit, say it takes a hundred yards of yarn, in crochet a comparable project is going to take about a third on average more yardage to make. So if you're using 100 yards for knitting, you're going to take 130 yards for crochet. It's just because of how the stitches are formed. So that's like a comparable. So if I'm making stockinette stitch in knitting, and if you don't know what that is, um, all my knitting videos will help you with that. Uh, so a stockinette stitch versus a single crochet project where they're dense material, where there's no holes, no lace, 100 yards in knitting versus 130 in crochet just because of the twist that crochet have it takes more yarn to make one stitch versus one stitch in knitting so that's one thing to consider it doesn't necessarily mean that you're always going to use more yarn in crochet though because if you like making lacy projects if you're doing stockinette stitch versus a lacy stitch in crochet, you'll use less yarn, less yarn, less yarn yardage because you're going to be creating holes in your project and you'll get an even bigger project than if you're making stockinette stitch. The holes are on purpose lace, so it's made with the actual project, not like you're punching holes in your project. So just depending on what you make, can change how much yardage you use, but on average, you're probably going to use more yarn as a crocheter over the life of your crocheting life versus a knitter. So that's one thing that you can think about. If budget is your main concern, knitting might be the, the, the project art form that you want to start with. Of course, even though you might spend more on yarn when you're crocheting, and this is another thing to think about, is that your tools, you're going to spend more money on needles than crochet hooks simply for the fact that you need different kinds of needles for different kinds of projects. So if you're just going to be doing like that one type of project, like I'm saying, if you only want to make blankets, you're going to use the same needle every time. But if you're saying, you know what, she's making more points about the things that I think I'm going to make that I'm really going to learn how to knit first, plus it's going to save me money on yarn, you might end up spending more on needles because you need different needles for all the different kind of projects you make. For example, if I'm making a blanket, I'm going to need this one hook. If I'm making a beanie, I can use this hook again. If I'm making a shawl or a scarf or anything else, I can use this same hook, as long as you know all the gauge and everything else works out. But I just need a hook. I can pick whatever my favorite hook is, and I think even the most expensive crochet hook um, that's like not a like a handmade, like this one's handmade, and that was probably 
30 to 40 dollars but like a store-bought or amazon bought hook the most expensive one i think was this one and i didn't even like it that much it was like 13 dollars this one's maybe this is one of my favorites this is like five dollars so you're gonna need probably like four basic sizes that you'll use over and over again in crochet hooks depending on what you like to make so twenty dollars investment yeah now knitting you can have straight hooks with little pointers on the end you might use this for a scarf then you might get this one for a bigger scarf then you might need an interchangeable if you're gonna make a blanket you'll need an interchangeable with a really big 40 inch or 32 inch string so that it'll hold all your stitches because remember you're using when you knit all your stitches are on for the row or the size all at once so you might need like a 40 inch and you can do an interchangeable or you can do a fixed needle so this is this a smaller one this one you would use for a beanie it's a 16 inch fixed so you could use this for a beanie or you could use dpn's which is double pointed and you use four or five of these these come in sets though so it's not like you have to buy four of them you buy one set that's got four so you could use this or you could use this just depending so if you're making a blanket you're going to need a different needle than if you're making a scarf you can use which i found out kind of going along that circulars are kind of your best friend if you like using them you can use them for straight projects you can use them for in the round projects and i stick with circulars now for the most part but the circulars I like, of course, are like one of the most expensive. So I love Addy Turbo. And you still will have to get different sizes. So you can get interchangeable, which are like these. These are really pretty. These are from Nitpicks too. And they have like rainbow wood. I think these are called Caspian. You can get them where you can take the tips off and have different size cords and then you just put the size tip you need with the size cord and you're good to go. But getting a whole set of these, if you get a nice set in either the wood or the nickel plated, which I love now, can be over a hundred dollars, even more sometimes. So like the click, I want to get the Addy Click, which are the interchangeables, and the cheapest and you get I think six sizes, six to eight sizes of actual needle tips. Um, the cheapest I found is like 120 on Amazon and these I really like these fix these are called fixed because you can't take these the cord off of it each one of these is anywhere from like 13 to 20 dollars a piece so whereas I can get a whole range of sizes and I can get like a whole set of the steel padded crochet hooks for 20 bucks for like eight sizes i can get one of these for 20 dollars so when you start making projects and you start realizing all of the different sizes that you're gonna need and use it adds up really quickly so i unfortunately bought all wood to start with so if you go into my actual knitting videos, you'll learn why I bought wood first. And then I went and bought all nickel plated, or I still haven't even bought them all. That's just like the stuff that I've used so far. These are kind of like the ones I use over and over again, but I still need to get more. So the trade off between all that yarn or all those needles could also determine what you want to do. Okay, our second consideration when we're choosing the yarn is what we like to use and this is going to go hand in hand with the projects that you think that you are going to want to make the most when you're deciding to learn if you want to knit or crochet so this kind of go this going to kind of go hand in hand with the next part so i'm going to combine them so it makes more sense so say that you have always wanted to be able to knit all of your friends scarves so depending on the yarn that is going to be the most available to you or the yarn that you think that you're going to have the most fun working with that can determine if you are going to knit or if you should crochet so for example this 
scarf here, this uh, infinity scarf. All of these patterns that you see are available in my pattern shop, so I'll link to it below so you can get there. This one is a knit chevron, and it's made with medium worsted weight yarn. So this is from um, Knit Picks, it's chroma. I love the colors, I'll, knit, I'll link to the chroma yarn as well. So thankfully Knit Picks makes chroma in worsted and fingering, so I'll show you that in a second because I love this yarn, I love the color changes, so I don't have to choose if I wanna knit or crochet because I can do both, which will make sense in a minute. But this is a medium worsted. Medium worsted is kind of the go-to yarn in big box stores. Red Heart Super Saver is medium. Erin Simply Soft is medium. Vanna's Choice is medium. All of the kind of major yarn lines that you're gonna see in the yarn store they're mostly going to start with a medium worsted and then they might go like higher to bulky, super bulky. Super bulky is really popular right now. It was not as popular five years ago, so it's much more popular. So you're going to find a lot more super bulky yarn, but that's going to be kind of for specific projects. You're not really going to make a very nice chevron scarf with this width in a super bulky you're gonna have to stick with a medium worsted so that's kind of um, not re relevant at the moment but the medium worsted you'll find everywhere it's super simple to find and with that i get a nice drapey nice thickness nice density type scarf when i'm knitting okay now i can make a nice scarf and worsted in crochet but if I want to get the same thickness the same kind of density and the same amount like the width of this with the chevrons if I want to get that same amount I can't use medium worsted for crochet because the stitches are bigger because it uses more yarn my project will already be wider and longer just because of the stitches that I'm using to make to try to make the same scarf. So I can't use medium, which limits my purchasing ability at the big box stores. Now, Knitpix is only online, knitpix.com, but they have a wide variety of sizes and great yarn for those sizes. So I'm able to get the same yarn in a thinner version. So this is fingering weight, which is a thinner version, but it allows me to do the same kind of design as my knit version and create a pretty similar size and density as the medium worsted. So I can make scarves in crochet that are similar to the density of knitting, but have to go down in size. So you can see that if you love medium worsted and all you wanna make is scarves, knitting might be a better choice. If you love making scarves and you like thin yarn, crochet would be a better choice because trying to knit in a fingering weight yarn, this same scarf, the you'll have more chevrons but it will take you so much longer so one of the benefits of crocheting versus knitting this scarf here took me much shorter time to crochet versus knitting this scarf here so that's one other consideration even though i was using a thinner yarn my stitches worked up much faster so give and take depending on what you're making but scarves if you want to be able to buy or have access to yarn that is readily available everywhere, knitting can be a better option. Okay, so now let's talk about beanies. Beanies can really decide for you if you should learn or knit or crochet, learn or knit or crochet, <laughs> learn to knit or crochet first because if you plan on knitting lots of beanies for lots of people and you don't have head sides, sizes, not sides, readily available, knitting is going to be your better option. Simply because, let me show you. So this is my owls, or no, this one's owl night long. It's a knit 
Fair Isle beanie with little owls all over it because I love owls if you can't see right there's so a couple of my owls and my whole wall is owls but I have it in a crochet version so this is owls up all night the knit version I have two sizes the crochet version I have four sizes so the knit is 16 inch and 20 inch circumference so that's the size of the hole that fits over your head and then this one I think is 15 17 20 and 22 somewhere around there so it goes from baby to like adult male and that's not necessarily an adult male's head a 22 inch that's just what yarnstandards.com that's what we use kind of for sizing when we're making things up they say the male head is 22 inches but I know some males heads are way bigger but I have to make this in four sizes because crochet does not stretch as much as knit so if I'm making a present for somebody and I'm not sure of their head size going with the knit beanie is going to give me more of a cushion to make sure that it's gonna fit so I'm gonna show you how much these the difference in stretches so this is the knit beanie I am just pulling I'm not pulling hard so this is the 20 inch you can see that I can get this super wide so I could fit this on like a 24 26 inch head if I needed to okay so using only two sizes because that 16 inch will stretch all the way to a 20 inch head if it needs to probably even more and then this 20 inch will take over from there and go to the biggest size head that hopefully exists now the crochet version it does not stretch as much so this is me pulling on it I can pull it more but just doing the normal stretch you know of what it wants to do without stretching it out of shape I don't get as many inches so I have to make four sizes so that it's gonna fit everybody's head without being totally stretched out of shape so again look at the space between my hands see my head's fitting through right here barely and then let me grab this one and you can see I have all this space in between my hands so knit is gonna give you the ability to have more of a cushion of sizes for things like beanies. So if you plan on making beanies all day long for babies, kids, adults, whatever it may be, the knitting is gonna give you a little bit more freedom to not worry if that beanie is gonna fit its recip recipient, <laughs> say that correctly. The crochet, you're gonna have to get more exact. You're gonna have to find out the recipient's head size so that you know it will fit. Now, some other things with beanies. With the beanies, we also have the yarn. So this yarn is a medium worsted that you can find everywhere. And you can see that my owl is very well, uh, like I can get very detailed in the picture. So if I went up to like a chunky, I'm gonna lose some of this picture because each one of these little things is a stitch that I have to graph out. So I can get a pretty good picture in this medium worsted. If I go down to a fingering size, I can get even more stitches in here, which means I can get an even more detailed picture if I'm making Fair Isle. So a medium worsted, which is easy to work with, the yarn is nice and thick, it's easier to see your stitches, it's gonna be easier to make this beanie. This one is made with fingering weight. So this is all Knit Picks again. This one's the palette yarn. Thankfully, Knit Picks has a fingering weight yarn that comes, I think it's like 150 colors. So they have like every color of the rainbow and then some. They are great for crocheters. Can't say enough about them. But this is the most detailed I can get without going to lace weight, which is gonna be insane to make a beanie out of lace weight, you wouldn't even do it. But this is as detailed as I can get because this is about the smallest yarn I can go to reasonably make a beanie. Anything smaller is just crazy. But I, if I change this to worsted, and there's plenty 
of crochet beanies that are made in worsted weight yarn. They are fantastic beanies. I have lots of patterns that are made with worsted weight, but if I'm making a Fair Isle project where I'm putting a picture on this beanie, I can't do it in worsted and get a detailed picture. I can do basic shapes. I can put like squares, but they're gonna be big gigantic squares and it's not going to have this kind of um, detail. So that's another thing to consider. If I wanna make Fair Isle, if I love putting pictures on beanies, knitting is probably going to be easier for me unless I like working with this thin yarn. And with this, the palette has 150 colors, so I can get really good with the pictures that I make out of crochet because of all those colors. But if I am the person making other people's projects, if I'm buying patterns, do I want to use medium worsted and get a detailed picture? Or do I want to use fingering and get a detailed picture? So it's, you know, it depends on what you want to work with. Who are you making this for? Do you know the sizes of their heads? And so on. So don't know their sizes, want to make detailed fair isle, stick with knitting. Know their sizes, want to, you like thin yarn, go with crochet. But you can still make lots, like I said, lots of medium worsted weight beanies. The speed, you're gonna make the crochet much faster than the knit, especially if you're doing like worsted weight because it's gonna take a whole lot less stitches to make the beanie when you're using worsted weight with crochet. Same thing with the crochet though. If, I mean, with the worsted weight, you're still not gonna get as much stretch as you do with the knit. So doesn't matter what size you go. So this is my messy bun beanie, which is a free video I'll link to it. This one is made with a bulky, is this bulky or super bulky? This is bulky. So it works up so fast. I made this while making the video in like an hour and a half. So probably without the video, I can make this like in an hour. No way I could knit this in an hour, but crocheting it, here's the hole for the, for the messy bun. I still don't get lots of stretch. So that's without pulling it out of shape. If I like sit there and pull on it, you can see it goes crazy pants and it doesn't look good. And you get lots of holes and then it's like all pulled out of shape afterwards. So pulling it just normally, I'm still not getting a lot of stretch. So I need to know the size of the head that I'm making it for, but it's gonna work up way faster than knitting. So like if maybe your dream is to go to a craft fair and sell messy bun beanies, you might want to stick with crochet because you're going to be able to bust them out like really fast and make more money. So it's all about perspective. Next project. Okay, so one of my most favorite things to design is home decor projects and especially baskets. Now hands down for me, baskets and blankets are better in crochet. So I'll explain that in a second. Don't crucify me if you love to make them in knit. There is a place and there is a way to do it. But for structure, crochet cannot be beat for baskets. For the length of time it takes, crochet cannot be beat for blankets. So for baskets, you can do them in either knit or crochet. I have both pattern types available, but you're going to get different outcomes because like I said, when you're using the same thickness of yarn for knit as for crochet, knit is going to be thinner no matter what because it takes less yarn to make the stitch, which in turn makes the thi the stitch the stitch thinner and makes your project more drapey, more pliable just um, a, a easier hand, less dense. So for example, this is my entangle basket. So I'll just kind of hold it on my hand here. So you can see on this side, <laughs> it wants to flop over very easily. Now when it has stuff in it, it holds it very well. It stays upright, let me hold it here. It stays upright, doesn't flop around because of the yarn and the stitches that I chose, the way that I constructed it, it's got more structure than a normal knit would have. But it's still 
nothing compared to the crochet version. So the crochet version, which is called the entwined basket, we have the entangled and the entwined, it's got much more structure because of the stitches. So the stitches are completely different because you can't make a purl or a knit stitch in crochet, but the stitches I have used and the yarn that I've used creates a denture, denture, <laughs> can't talk today, a denser stitch that keeps it standing even when it's empty. So you can see that it holds its shape and then once you put stuff in it, it's even better. So using this, I believe, I think this is super bulky. I think these are both super bulky, but just the fact that crochet stitches are denser is going to give you more structure and a thicker basket. So that's kind of the point with the baskets. So if you just want to make storage for everybody, which I'm sure they will appreciate because we all have way too much stuff these days, crochet is the way to go all the way. It's faster, the, the items will, or the, the baskets will be denser. That's not to say though, if you want baskets that you can store easily and just pull out when you need them, then it might be better because it's going to be thinner, it's going to store easier. So it's totally, you know, what's going, it's totally subjective. What is going to work better for what you want to make? Now blankets, I don't have blankets here to show you because they're gigantic, but with crochet, you're going to get a thicker blanket with the medium worsted. So kind of reverse, you know, when you're making a scarf or a beanie, you might want a less dense fabric. You might want something, especially like maybe a shawl. You want it more to be able to drape around you easier. So when you're using that medium worsted, you want to knit it because it's going to drape better. But if you're making a blanket, you want it for warmth. So if you're knitting it in that same medium worsted, it's of course going to be thinner than if you're crocheting it in the medium worsted. So this is where crochet wins out every time in my book. When you're making a blanket in medium worsted, crochet is going to be your best bet. It's going to work up faster and it's going to be warmer than if you knit it. Now, super bulky knit blankets are huge now. You see them everywhere. They're made from that like one ply yarn that if you know yarn, you're just going, that must pill like crazy. Pills like the little balls you get you know, when you rub up against um, natural fibers. So I would love to see those blankets, you know, after like a year of using them, if they're just a mess or if they still look great. I just would love to see how those actually look after time. So also with the knit blankets is that because they're thinner, they're not going to wear as well. So they will wear out faster, they'll get a hole faster, it's a lot easier to kind of pull a stitch out because knit is kind of all connected. You know, if you pull on a stitch real hard or you get it snagged, you can snag a whole part of the blanket, whereas with crochet, if you like snag a piece, it usually doesn't affect the rest of maybe the row or whatever it is because there's so many twists and turns in crochet that it kind of compensates or you can kind of pull it back in shape. That's not necessarily true with knit. It's still, knit is a beautiful fabric when it's a blanket. I just think that you need to go bigger. So I have a pattern coming out very soon of um, a super bulky knit blanket. So using super bulky yarn, it works up faster, it's thicker, it's more of a crochet type blanket. So it's more of the thicker, warmer blanket that you would get if you were just using like medium worsted wool or medium worsted yarn in crochet. So if you love to make blankets and that's all you want to make, that can be something that determines that you want to learn crochet. So there's lots of different things. Then there's also shawls. Shawls are a huge thing. People love making shawls and it's very different from a scarf. It's a very different type of project. So shawls, again, if you're using mer merdium, <laughs> can't talk today at all, using medium or still weight yarn, your knit shawl is going to be much more drapey, much 
thinner so if you're like making a springtime shawl if you're making like a winter shawl medium worsted would be great in crochet because it's going to keep you warmer than that knit version it will work up faster because that's the great thing about crochet is that it's much faster than knit but depending on what you need if you want a really lacy beautiful shawl that's super thin and super airy you're gonna have to go with knitting unless you go with like a lace weight yarn in crochet which if you ever used lace weight cro lace weight yarn just think about it this way so it's going to take you two to three thousand yards of lace weight yarn depending on how big you want your shawl to be and it takes about a good 2,000 yards to make a blanket in medium worsted and crochet. So think about how long it takes you to make a blanket. That's how long it's going to take you to make that lacy shawl, but with tiny little yarn and a tiny little hook that you're going to have to work tiny little stitches. So it can get really tedious. Your hands can cramp up with that tiny little hook if you don't have like a big grip on it. So it's really about thinking about what's going to be the best for you. If you have hand pain, that may not be the greatest thing. You know, I get hand pain because I hold my yarn crazy and I can't like am amigurumi, which is another one that I'll talk about. It's it can really mess with you so that's another thing to consider you know can you handle smaller yarn just for the fact of your hands do you have hand pain so one other thing to consider okay so i have two more projects kind of three actually that can go either way so socks and slippers is one and then amigurumi or toy making is the second so socks and slippers it can actually be divided because socks I think are superior in knitting and slippers I think are superior in crochet. So the reason socks would be better in knitting is of course because of how thick your stitches are. If I wanted to wear slippers inside of my shoes, I would pick crochet for socks because they're going to make a really thick sock. It's going to be probably too thick to wear the shoes that your size or your shoe size because it's going to add so much bulk that you need to go up a shoe size just to be able to wear those socks. Of course that's using like medium worsted or whatever the sock weight yarn is because you can make socks in medium in knitting and they're not super thick but of course usually you use sock weight yarn the difference is going to be noticeable from making a sock weight knitted sock and a sock weight crocheted sock because of all the reasons I've stated. The yarn is thicker, it's not thicker, you're making your stitches thicker with crochet, so it's just going to be a more dense sock. It's not going to be, um, you know, nice and pliable like a knit sock. It's just going to be different just like all of your other projects. So I think if you want to knit socks or if you want socks, knitting's the way to go. That's really why I learned to knit because trying to find 100% wool socks is really difficult unless you want to spend a lot of money. Those things are expensive. So I was like, I can knit these things cheaper. And I love 100% wool socks for camping. So if you ever go camping and you can't sleep because your feet are freezing and you have like three pairs of regular socks on and they're still cold, all you need is one pair of 100% wool. Even if you're allergic to wool, just put your regular socks and then put those over and your feet will be toasty and you'll be able to sleep like a baby. Trust me, it's great. So I wanted to knit socks because we were going camping and I could not do it in crochet. It was, it, it's slippers, basically. If I want to make slippers, I want to crochet because those, you want structure. You're walking around your house in them. You want something thicker than a sock. So that's why crochet is better for slippers. So it's, you know, what do you want to make? You want to make socks? I would say go with knitting. You want to make slippers? I say go with crochet. Same thing like with the baskets. If I knit my slippers, they're going to be like falling down. They're not going to have structure. They're not going to have defined shapes. There's ways to do it, 
but it goes against what knitting is. Like you would have, like with this basket, I have to change the needle size to be able to get the stitches as dense as I can get them. So it changes how you're actually creating something to make something the other way. So if I wanna create a crochet item that looks more knit, I have to think as a knitter and I have to make the yarn smaller, the stitches um, bigger so they're loftier, so the fabric isn't as dense. And if I wanna make knit thick, I gotta go bigger yarn, smaller needles, different kind of things. So definitely socks, knitting, slippers, crochet. Last one is toys or amigurumi. Those are the little knitted or crocheted plushies, dolls, animals, whatever it is. You've seen them, they're all over the place. And each can be made in knitting or crocheting, but the same thing with like a basket. You're gonna get more structure out of the crochet. You can use medium worsted is great for crochet amigurumi. I think that if you want a thick, like a posable doll or a well-shaped, I don't wanna say like well-shaped, but you can get better shapes out of crochet simply because it doesn't stretch as much. So when you stuff it, the same with the beanies, I can't pull it out as much as I can pull the knitting. So I can stuff it and it's gonna hold its shape better. If I have a knitted toy and I stuff it, I can stuff it out of shape. So it loses the shape that I actually knitted it in. But if you want kind of like a floppy toy or a very soft looking toy, you know, something that you don't need to stuff too much, knitting can be a better choice because it's gonna give you a more just delicate look. So you get more of a delicate look with knit and that's kind of the the theme with knitting it's a more delicate fabric compared to crochet crochet is a more sturdy more long wearing fabric that's why it's great for blankets that's why you don't see a whole lot of knit blankets because it's going to wear much better when it's crocheted so depending on if you want a tough doll or a delicate sweet doll that will decide do i want to knit or do i want to crochet so i hope that this information, which I know is super long-winded and took a lot of time, I hope that it helps you to decide now that you know what you know about how fabric and how the yarn and the stitches will affect your project, will help you decide, do I want to learn to knit? Do I want to learn to crochet? I say learn both because even though you may only want to make blankets now, you may not always want to just make blankets. You might want to make beanies in the future and you might want to make Fair Isle beanies with lots of pictures and very detailed images. And that's going to help you. You don't necessarily have to learn them both right now. So you could learn crochet now and then knit one day. But now you have the information to know that if I want to make this project and I want it to look this way, crochet is going to be the best answer or knitting is gonna be the best answer. So it's really up to you. What do you wanna learn? What do you wanna make? What do you wanna do? And now you know what is gonna work best. So let me know if there's any other projects that I didn't go over that you're thinking about making. I can either make another video or reply in a comment of which one I think would be better, knitting or crocheting and why. Or if you have a totally different opinion from me, I would love to hear it. I know everybody learns when we all share, so please share it. Please go to my Facebook page and post pictures of stuff that you've made. I would love to see it. And I just thank you for watching.